Welcome to SAT School. This is our third video on height and distance. Now let's get started. And here is practice question five. The question is a tree of 14 meter height is broken by the wind so that its top touches the ground and makes an angle of 60 degree with the ground. Meaning the height of the tree is given which is 14 meter. And this is the original height of the tree before it was broken. So this 14 meter high tree is broken by the wind. So its top touches the ground and makes the angle of 60 degree. Now we have to find the length of the broken part of the tree. Again, the original height of the tree is 14 meter and that is broken by the wind where it makes 60 degree angle with the ground. Now we have to find the length of the broken part. Here, let's suppose this is the original height of the tree. AB is the original height of the tree, which is 14 meter. And it breaks at point D. Let's suppose AB, the original height of the tree. Now this is the broken part. This is the point where the tree breaks, meaning now this is the length of broken part. This CD is equals to AD. Again, this AB, the height of the tree, that is the original height of the tree before it was broken. Now it breaks at point D, meaning this AD is the broken part. Now this touches the ground at point C. So this is the ground at point C. And this is the distance between the tree and the point where the tree touches after it was broken. Here we have to find the length of the broken part. The angle of elevation or simply the broken part when it touches at the ground it makes angle 60 degree. So this is and the 14 meter. This is by the question. And let's suppose the broken part ED, which is equals to CD is X. Let that be X, meaning the length of broken part is X. If this is X, then this is equals to this broken part, which is also X. Now this whole part is 14 and we let this is x now this remaining portion will be 14 minus x meaning this bd is now 14 minus x now let's so solve. let's solve here ab is the height of the tree before it is broken and b be the broken point of the tree and c be the point on the ground where touches. In that case, we have this portion which is x, meaning this AD is x and this AD is equals to CD. So let length of broken part AD which is equal to CD is x. Now in that case, we have angle which is 60 degree, meaning this angle C B C D is 60 degree. We represent that by theta. Now here this whole part is again 14 meter. The next is this B D which is A B minus A D. This B D is A B minus A D. A B is 14 and A D is X which is from here. Now we have to find the first AD that is a broken part or simply CD. The CD which is broken part is equals to AD. Now if you look at right angle triangle BCD. So 
this is the angle and this side is opposite of this angle. So this is angle of reference and the side opposite to angle of reference is perpendicular. Here BD is perpendicular which is 14 minus X. And this CD is the longest side in this right angle triangle which is hypotenuse. Meaning now we have perpendicular and hypotenuse that is P and H. So that is a ratio of the sine. That's why we are using sine theta, which is the ratio of perpendicular and hypotenuse. So this is the ratio of sine. Now we have angle, which is 60 degree. So sine 60 and the perpendicular in this case is BD and hypotenuse is CD. Now the value of BD is from here, which is 14 minus X and the value of CD is X. So sine 60 is square root of 3 divided by 2 and the value of DB or BD is 14 minus X from here and CD is X. Now if you cross multiply, then that will be square root of 3 X and when you cross multiply here, this is 28 minus 2x. So now you can shift this to left hand side, which will be square root of 3x plus 2x equals to 28. Now, if you calculate this one, then the sum will be 3.73x. Simply, the value of square root of 3 is 1.73. So this 1.73, and when you add with plus 2x, then 3.73x. Now, if you divide this 28 by 3.73, then that is 7.3. So the unit is given in meter. Here, the unit also in meter. And that is a value of x, which is the AD and CD. So this broken part, AD is 7.5 meter, or this CD is 7.5 meter. So that is the length of the broken part of the tree. Now here is practice question six. A pillar is fixed in center of circular pond with diameter of 60 meter. So this is the diameter of the circular pond. The angle of elevation of its top was found to be 60 degree when observed from a point of the circumference of the circular pond. Now this is the angle of elevation and this is the diameter of the pond. Now we have to find the height of the pillar from the ground. That is the height of the pillar above the ground. Here let's suppose this is a circular pond and this is the diameter of the pond. So by the given, the diameter is given 60 meter. So this is the diameter and this is a circular pond. Now let's suppose this is the height of the pillar above the ground. AB is the height of the pillar and this B is the center of the circular pond. Now in that case, the angle of elevation is given which is 60 degree. So this angle of elevation A, C, B is 60 degree. We have to find the height of the pillar, which is AB. Now, this CD is the diameter. In that case, the value of this CB will be half of the diameter. Now here, let AB be the height of the pillar fixed in the center B of a circular pond and CD be the diameter of a circular pond. Again, this is the height of the pillar and this is the diameter of the pond. In that case, we have CD equals to 60 meter and CB or this BC is the half of CD because this is the radius which is half of the diameter. So that is 30 meter and we have to find the height of the pillar, which is AB. 
Now in this right angle triangle ABC, we have angle of reference, which is 60 degree. So this is given. So the angle of elevation is ACP that is represented by theta and this is given 60 degree. So in this right angle triangle, we have to find EB, which is the opposite of this angle and this is perpendicular. This longest, longest side is the hypotenuse and the remaining is this, meaning this is perpendicular. That is what we have to find and this is given, the base is given. So in this case, we use tan theta. So I want you to try this question. Find perpendicular, the base is given. This is the angle of reference. So in this case, we use the ratio of perpendicular by base. That's why we use tan theta. So this was for today. Complete this. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get a notification as soon as I upload my next video. Take care. See you.